Hello there, welcome into Sage Scented Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're doing well. It's such a beautiful day today and I hope you are enjoying it. Ah, oh, the sun is amazing. So, Cancer, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Gonna get some messages to see what is coming up for you in finance and career. I see you're focusing on work. You're focusing on slaying. I or is this what you need to do? You need to really be slaying it, to be committed, to be dedicated, to be militant in your purpose right now, to be working and putting in the effort full-fledged. Okay, so remember that these are general tarot card messages, all right? So all of the messages may not apply to all of you Cancerians, so do take what applies, all right? And the rest, let it fly. While you are here, remember that you're a very important part of this reading. So please do go ahead, breathe with me. Focus your intentions here. Let's get out the most accurate messages for Cancerians in this time when it comes to your money, what you're working on, your career focus. So I want to see what's coming up for you. So something is moving in swiftly. You could be getting an offer. You could be partnering. You could be getting an offer to partner in business social life that causes you to move forward or to move away from certain situations or cause you to move in another in a, in a new vibration where you're focusing more on work so i feel like this is going to be something brand new that you're going to be you're going to have to just trust the energy and dive right into it i do feel once you remain committed to the work okay and this offer may be coming into you very swiftly. This could be coming from a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're coming in to offer you some connection in business. And I feel like you're going to take that leap of faith, Cancer, and you're going to say, yes, I can do this. You're going to buckle down in work and you will reap financial rewards. You're going to get um, financial balance and stability here. I feel like you're taking this job so that you can focus more on your passions being able to fulfill your dream i feel like there's something that you want to build your own stability your own mental stability your own peace of mind being able to stand in your truth that's how i feel that's what you're working toward now some of you feel trapped tethered to devil energy or to some addiction or some i hear procrastination putting things off too much and that's why you're not getting to your fulfillment and so if you're dreaming big if you're wishing and hoping for financial rewards i feel like what could you could be holding you back hence uh, is addiction procrastination negative habits thoughts belief and patterns that you've always had some cycles that you repeat um being in your comfort zone those kinds of energies that keeps you from reaching fulfillment in your business but the potential is there if you do commit if you decide to change your life you'll be getting an opportunity to do that to chase your dreams in the future and in this in that scenario you'll have to be putting in the work you can't you need to buckle down you you don't have space to procrastinate to feed addictions and negative thoughts and belief patterns see there's an offer coming into you despite you being in your comfort zone or whatever situation you're in someone sees that you have something valuable to offer and this could be a destined soul connection this could be a connection that is this is meant to happen is meant to elevate you financially or in your career whatever you're choosing to do business wise this is meant to push you forward. You're about to move forward. You're about to relocate possibly. I do maybe feel um, traveling overseas for you. And in the first, it's going to be a bit rocky and challenging when you, um, you set off on this journey. But things will become clear. You will find your passion again. And there is going to be a fire ignited in you that's going to heal you, Cancer. And I feel this, this is already going on for many of you. A fire ignited in you that's going to heal you, heal whatever disappointment, broken heart, whatever financial instability is becoming very stable. All right, because you're trusting in your heart. All of your abundance is going to come into you. I feel like this is unfolding right now. If you haven't realized this manifestation yet, where you feel abundance, where you feel like your finances are coming into stability, it's okay. It's coming. It's in the, It's in your field of manifestation. Some of you are still trapped in devilish tendencies or negative habits, procrastination, like I was saying earlier. Um, 
being stuck in your comfort zone not wanting to change being afraid being doubtful oh, that's the energy but it's about to end and i feel like whatever was holding you back is about to end there's a brand new day coming like someone is i feel like the universe is saying you don't deserve to, to to not spread your wings you deserve to be seen and so something is ending so that something brand new can come into you and it will take you out of the darkness it will enable healing transformation well-being you're going to be standing up in your power seeing the brighter day in this alignment that's coming for you when it comes to your money so some of you may have had a rough childhood where you were treated badly or denied or neglected rejected put down like i don't feel like you had a space to grow to flourish to be you to express yourself to just let your essence be felt you were always put back and put down like maybe abused maybe beaten for some people yes has to do with your childhood traumas that keeps you in this devilish energy if it is an addiction if it is codependency if it is not taking the steps forward and remember it is all fixable you can you can be, be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire and that is why i'm here to bring insight for you because i feel you do require change you want this change to take place so there's a there's a possibility for you to heal these childhood traumas to learn how to love yourself to be there for you to tell yourself yes to tell yourself no and to not let what you've got grow like the, the the environment you grew up in to dictate the life you have now because if you continue to stay stuck oh i lost that energy somewhere but if you continue to stay stuck then because of what happened in your past then that's what's going to happen but a breakthrough is coming. I feel you're learning how to meditate and how to visualize. And that's so beautiful. So even if you're taking a time off no cancer, that is beautiful. Because it's ca causing you to reflect or to even dream, to dream bigger. Whatever situation you're going through now, it's causing you to dream bigger, to want more. And that's, that's why you will take an opportunity. You will... Um, you will take advantage of an opportunity that presents itself to you in the future. But right now, this opportunity is literally present, be, um, becoming, what, what, manifesting into your experience. So it might not yet be here, but it's becoming. All right. So I do feel like you have people working on your favor. This could be from the spiritual side that wants to set things right, how it should be. Okay. Something is supposed to be realigned with your path, with your job, the things you speak, with your identity. All right. It's supposed to be reestablished, reestablished, reaffirmed who you are. It's supposed to be reaffirmed. The temperance energy. I will be doing a Sagittarius reading, Cancer. And so pay attention to the messages in Sagittarius reading. Some of you have fire sign in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so you need to pay attention to Sagittarius energy. It will be very beneficial in creating balance for you and teach um, in teaching you how to heal childhood traumas as well, Sagittarius energy. So you have the oversight that you need, the clarity that you need to go ahead. You know what it is that you need. You know what you need to be doing. You know the life that you desire to live. You've been visualizing and dreaming this up. But something still keeps you stuck from moving forward. All right. And it's kind of eating you up. A little by little. But a breakthrough is coming. And the last messages for Cancerians. Money career messages. All right. Movement and travel. Here you are, my love. There you go. And now let's do a second spread. Someone could be watching you, observing you, just taking you in. This could be your ancestors, literally. This could be your spiritual guides. All right, so mm -hmm, this is amazing so far. We have the hangman energy, which is Pisces. Pisces energy is introspection. It's deep knowing. It's self-awareness. It's actually hanging around too, taking it easy, you know. Dream. I feel like your dreams coming true. Who, who? I just got that. I need a minute. Hold on. Okay, Cancer. So the energy I'm getting, Pisces energy, water sign energy once more. You could be affiliated with another water sign, Cancer. This could be that person here that's chilling out watching you. This person could be watching your videos. This person could be on vacation watching you or just chilling watching you. But they're not present. They're not showing you who they are. So they're appearing in a, dif a different form. They're not appearing as this water sign. They're appearing as swords energy. This person could just be observing, watching to see what's going on. 
Um, and so I feel the, the Ten of Cups in the challenge position, I feel there's a, a dream come true that maybe this person wants to have with you or this could be you wanting a dream come true, your dream come true. Because whenever you see the Ten of Cups card, it's dream come true. But it's as if it's not, it's here but it's not received yet. You know, it's here but it's not realized yet because maybe someone has their head in the sand. You know, they're not looking at all they have to be thankful for. They're not realizing that the dream come true is here and this could be your energy you could be taking a break not focusing um i feel like it's as if you're not seeing the truth maybe the truth of who you are all right so then we have the knight of swords so i do feel like you have what it takes to be vulnerable to stand up for yourself too in order to move forward look and you sometimes are hoping for a divine connection, possibly with another person. Okay, so there is the potential of you aligning with a business, a partnership, or another person that's going to elevate you. And not elevate you, but you'll, you'll align divinely with this person. They're coming in with an offer for you that's almost, I feel, going to make your dream come true. So the energy I'm getting is this person is so, this, this could be Pisces. I, I feel like this person is so, uh, they feel so prideful or so happy to, to be able to, to grant you this dream come true. Is that the energy? So I, that's what I'm getting. It, it's like a genie, honestly. <laughs> Look, it's like a genie energy. Someone that's going to grant and they're happy to grant you your wishes. This person may not be speaking to you. But they're coming from somewhere deep. It could be inside Cancerian. And they're happy to grant you your wishes. Look, they're granting. Your wishes are being granted. And I feel like you may be... It's just I feel like ask for what it is that you want. Because it is already here. And it will come in for you as soon as you ask. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you may be faced with a bit of obstacle or an obstruction. Or just another person that... I feel like this person is maybe targeting you or watching you. Trying to cut you off from your successes and your abundance. But they... I feel... They may miss. Because you are taking the shot. You're taking a leap of faith forward. Remember I say you're trusting in yourself. You're becoming financially stable and abundant. Following your heart. And justice will prevail.